Well, welcome back, YouTubers. This is Just Gene 83 coming to you with reloading from the hot pot. I think from now on, I'm just gonna just go by just my name, Gene. Um, the name Just Gene. Let me give you a little bit of history about this. I am a, a veteran tattoo artist. Back in the day, everybody had nicknames. We had Tats and Lady Luck. Uh, we even had a wolf guy we called Shaky Bob because he'd shake like this until you put a tattoo machine in his hand and boom, he would be solid. So, I can I kind of took on this out of a uh, a customer one day in a studio that I worked in. Said, um, well, they call her Lady Luck and him Tats. They were like, what's your nickname? I said, man, I'm just Gene. You're like, you're like, oh. So it's just Gene. I was like, no, I'm just Gene. They were like, no, that's pretty cool, just Gene. So I took on the name Just Gene. So from here on out, I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to be Gene. But what we're going to do today is I've been hearing some information and seeing a couple videos about taking the bluing off of barrels. This is my uh, CZ P10C barrel. So what you see in the end of it here, that's an earplug. So it was recommended to plug up the barrel as to not get the vinegar to actually down inside of the barrel. So we're going to go ahead and push that into the barrel. We're going to take this other ear plug and insert it into the other end of the barrel. Push that down in there. I've got a long steel rod. I can push those out when we're done. That's not a problem. But it was told to do it with some distilled white vinegar. So, I picked up some distilled white vinegar out from under the sink. <laughs> um, and so, I'm going to soak it in this. I also recommended prior to soaking to um, clean off with alcohol. So, I'm going to use the ISO heat. Uh, the red bottle of heat is 99% alcohol, which is very good for keeping around your bench for cleaning off different things here and there. Um, I always keep a bottle of my reloading in my, my gun building bench just to have um, just for cleaning up different parts and things degreasing anything that I'm working on um, you know sometimes the oil on the, on some parts of the gun is not so good after we're done with this hopefully if this all comes out correctly and I get a nice polished barrel I'm also going to polish that feed ramp up there so as you can see, that feed ramp on that CZ is pretty dull. So we're going to be polishing that up. So we're going to put this in this distilled white vinegar. I'm going to pour it over until it just covers the barrel up. A little bit extra maybe. And we're going to let this sit. And um, well, we'll come back and We'll see how this does. Just a little update on the soaking of this barrel in the uh, distilled white vinegar. If you notice, the, the barrel is starting to get a, a brownish kind of tone to it, and it's only been about 10 minutes. I figure I'm going to leave this in for about 40 minutes before I try doing anything with it. Um, as per any other videos I've seen on this, which actually have only been just, just a couple, actually. I haven't seen many at all. Uh, a friend of mine did this to his uh, Smith & Wesson uh, M&P Shield barrel and it come out beautiful. So we're gonna let this soak a little while longer and we'll be back. Hey YouTubers back at you here. Um, I've let this soak now for about an hour actually. So we're gonna take this out of here. I've got two different um, scotch bright pads here with me i got a gray one and a green one that i'm going to try using on this so man you gotta you gotta love these takeout containers this has got a little crack in it you gotta love these takeout containers we got a place around here called hothead burritos and these little takeout containers are for you know, like your leftover or your to-go meal when, when you get them and you can get small and large ones and i use these if i'm taking a, a firearm or pistol apart I'll put all the pieces and parts in there and then naturally it comes with a nice little lid that you can put on top of it and I keep these up on a shelf as, I, as I'm working on things to keep them separated. So just another idea there for um, trying, to, trying to store things as you're working on them. 
So we're going to use this on here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is, that's coming right off. That finish. This is a CZ P10C barrel. Um, I'm using the gray Scotch Bright, and that seems to be coming right off of there, really nice. Look at that. See the difference in that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, clean up this barrel, and, um, and we'll be back with you on the on the next step. Well, back after you a little bit. I've done a little bit of scrubbing on this. Um, <clears throat> that was just with some of the uh, the gray Scotch Bright, and that's actually coming out pretty nice. I'm going to do a little more work on this. I've got a another brush out here that I'm going to use to get down into some of those little crevices, and uh, we'll come back up when we start doing some polishing. Okay, now that you got most of that off the barrel, <clears throat> you can really start to see some imperfections in the barrel itself, uh, as far as the metal goes. Um, there's some different spots on it. So I'm going to be using this Dremel tool with this little wire brush on here. And I'm going to get down into some of these corners. We'll dip it into a little bit of the vinegar there. And I'm going to try to get down in here and onto some of these corners and um, see if I can get some more of that bluing out of there. A little more vinegar on there. Make sure you wear your safety glasses when you're doing this. I just had vinegar splash up. I've got my standard glasses on, which do have shatterproof lenses. But I'm going to go over with this, I do believe, and uh, get into all these little tight corners on here with this little wire wheel. And, uh, let me go through this and do this and then uh, I'll come back and uh, for the polishing. Okay, now that we got that done, I went back inside all the little corners, all the little nooks and crannies, all around the barrel in the chamber. So now we're going to be changing out the old cheapo Dremo tool here to a polishing pad. I will be polishing with... some Mother's Power Metal. Um, for all buffer types, this is specifically for aluminum, but I have found that this mother's product works and shines many, many different metals. So let me get everything changed over and I'll get started on this. I'll lay out some paper towels just to keep my work surface clean. I've got a baggie over here, which I'm going to drop a little bit of the metal polish on. I find just to use old, uh, old, old baggies and stuff. Um, there you can see it right there. Doop right there and uh, I, I use old baggies and stuff I'm, I'm pretty much uh, conservative as far as what I what I use and uh, what I what I reuse so I'm gonna dip each side of this and that wheel into there and we're gonna start this polishing process and we will uh, we'll see how this comes out So we're just going to do one side of it here on camera uh, just to show you the differences on just a uh, couple swipes with it. Then I'll go through and uh, do the entire barrel uh, off camera. Don't want to bore you guys with this stuff. So far, not too bad. Um, I did have one imperfection right there on the barrel itself. So in lieu of the way the polishing is coming out I have out I have out here with me some 1500 grit sandpaper so I might go, might go ahead and take the sandpaper and um, give it a good wet sanding down and see how that comes out as you can see the polish is starting to is starting to brighten it up uh, we're going to go off camera for the uh, for the wet sanding everybody's done wet sanding before I'm sure if you haven't done wet sanding before, well, what are you doing watching this? 
we'll be back. Well, this is my progress so far. I've actually spent um, right around 10 minutes um, using a, uh, my El Cheapo Dremel with a uh, round cotton fiber polishing wheel on it and still using this Mother's Power Wheels for aluminum. It's actually coming out quite nice. Um, I, I'm very surprised, very surprised seeing how the finish was coming off when I was uh, when I was using the vinegar. This is actually coming out really well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, spend a little more time with this and finish this up. Then we'll be back with you. Well, we're back. I'm getting this all wiped off. Um, it's always good to keep an old T-shirt around, you know, just for doing some buffing or wiping or. Maybe soaking up your coffee spill or your drink you've had while you're working on your bench. Well, <clears throat> it came out pretty good. I'm very satisfied with it. Um, it came out kind of a uh, a matte chrome. It's uh, almost a, a dull looking finish, but you know, I'm not a really big chrome guy. So even my Harley, I don't, I have not added any more chrome to it I've actually been blacking a lot of things out but you can see right there see if I can get that to focus in there yeah that that ramp that come out really nice I, I really spent a lot of time on that ramp that ramp's got a really nice finish to it but the rest of it, um, I'm satisfied with. You know, like I said, not being a huge, huge chrome kind of guy. Um, that kind of a uh, dull, shiny finish is just fine for me. So let's put this back together and see what this looks like. I said this is a CZ P10C. This is my EDC. On a daily. See how that looks. It even looks quite nice. Look at that. It gives it a little bit of a different finish there. Not real, real shiny. It's more kind of a matte surface. Got the end of the barrel there. I'm satisfied with it. Um, I could have done more wet sanding on it. I could have worked a little bit longer on it, but seeing the results I was getting, um, I changed my mind from taking it to a mirror finish to, to leaving it this, uh, this more of a matte, um, grainy metal look. Very, very satisfied with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little how-to video. I did not show you all the steps through it. Um, a lot of it is just uh, just being self-sufficient, figuring a way out to do things your way. Everybody's got a little different perspective on it. So thank you very much for watching. And um, always remember to uh, keep blowing the smoke.